Next, I'm pleased to present our next presenters, Heather Putnam and Rose Cohen. Hey, everybody. How many of you are under 18? Raise your hands. How okay, many well, of you are 18? How many of you are older than 18? No, 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 Jill. Jill, <laughs> Jill, stop. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Keep your place. Really, how many of you are under 18? Raise your hands. I see you. Now look at those folks that have their hands raised. Young people are the drivers of change in our community. We know that. Young is relative, of course, but today we're honoring the under 18 category. Um, so when given the opportunity and when they step up to the plate, the impact can be simply astounding. Thank you, Heather. So I'm Rose Cohen. I'm from the executive director of the Community Agroecology Network. We're a local nonprofit here that works to, we use action research as a method to empower families to build thriving local food systems. And we work in Mexico, Nicaragua, and the US, and in our work in the US is right here close to home in Santa Cruz County. And we work with youth in Watsonville. And we have a team called the Growing Justice Team um, who we're honoring tonight, which I'm very excited about. And their goal is to raise youth voices to build a culture of health in Watsonville. Together, they work together to gain skills in critical thinking and storytelling to bring research to life and become advocates for food systems change. We're at a critical point right now in our history. Um, we all know that knowledge is power, truth matters, yes. and it is crucially important that we give the opportunity to the next generation, to these youth, to make the connections, to understand what's wrong with the system, in our case, what's wrong with our food system, what are the injustices, and how can we build solutions to make change, and how can those solutions come from the exp direct experiences and, exp and perspectives of the young people that are living out these realities. Um, so I want to introduce um, Ashley, but I also want to recognize that she is an amazing young woman, young woman who is part of a team. Her team members are here. Woo! Saulo, Ashford, Lisette, Ashley, can you stand up? Come on, a, these are people who weren't raising their hands under 18. <laughs> we also have, we also have other members of her family here. Um, her youngest sister, Ashlyn. Don Hector, Doña Beatriz, por favor, párense. Yeah. Because it, it's the power of collaboration that makes this work possible. And just a real quick about Ashley, her willingness to step up um, and challenge herself from eating kale salads to traveling outside of the US for the first time to Nicaragua to represent her team there. Um, she's deeply committed to her community. She, from building a garden, mentoring her younger team members, and speaking from the heart. I'll stop there. I just want to say thank you for all the people that have supported me and everything, and for those who got me involved into getting in my community. And well, I come from a family where they speak everything. Um, they go to their city council, especially my dad. He has become an activist in our community from Watsonville. Um, um, I really never thought I was really going to get into this because I'm like more reserved, more shy. But then I got into, like, there was this point where I really wanted to speak out for my community. And, well, not knowing it, I, really, I got really passionate passionate into knowing more about my community and speaking out as well as being an active member in my community, helping out and speaking out. I've learned a lot about what our community faces through with our youth research team. I grew a lot of knowledge about how we youth can make a change for our community. Um, something that our, like our youth people um, in our group that we always say is that we might not be able to change everything we can. We might not be able to change everything, but we can have the we can't have a voice in the changing process. That's what matters, getting our voices out, our opinions out, because we are the future, it all depends on us. Because one day, eventually, we are the ones who are going to eventually be able to make everything possible in our community. Being involved in the community opens many doors. Um, for example, I got to travel to Nicaragua, yeah. thanks to Ken. I got this opportunity, I got to see many youth people who were as well passionate, passionate about their community. I got exposed to another culture and I learned and I learned a lot about the networks. I was really proud to see all the youth passionate and being leaders for their, com for their community. 
Once again, thank you for this recognition and for all those passionate to their community. Thank you.